guys. <coughs> Get ready with me for school. No joke, I have like literally less than 10 minutes. Could even be five. I don't know what I'm doing with my life, but we need to speed up. Ten minutes. Four minutes. God knows, I don't know. All I know is that I need to leave at like 10 past eight and it's currently five past eight right now. And I don't know what I'm doing. I woke up so late again and like I need to actually get a grip. I need to get a grip on my sleep schedule. And don't bother commenting. Oh my god, why are you filming then? Zip it, lick it, zip it, lock it, put it in your pocket. My stomach is rumbling. My voice is finally getting better. It doesn't hurt as much as it did yesterday. And then, like, I don't sound like I'm a boy going through puberty. <sighs> when her voice is going, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, we're getting better. Just in time for the four day week. I'm not putting on any of the Halo Glow because, I don't know, I can't be bothered, too much effort, and I don't have time. Um, I'm just going to do concealer, and then blend that out, and then everything else. Why does this take so long? Why does it take so long? Can you hurry up? It's annoying. I haven't used this in the longest time because it's literally running out, and I want to cry, but hopefully I'm saving up. I want to get a new one, and I want to treat myself for Christmas slash my birthday because my Christmas is in like less than two months I'm so excited but anyway you gotta get through school and mocks and literal hell before my birthday but anyway okay gonna do my brows real quick BRB okay it's good enough I don't have bloody time it's already 11 past 8 I don't know what I'm doing but it's not good it's stressful and it's not good not good my bags are literally like 3D. They're so huge today again. Okay, finally try for mascara because I look like that. I sneeze and my eyes closed and then I get this. Oh, my fingers are painted. <laughs> anyway, oh, this put a delay on my time. Uh, hello. <sighs> what the hell? I hate this. Okay, it's good enough. I don't care. All right, I'm truly late. But so much love that the whole thing feel like a lie. Ain't nobody. Right, so I was going to do my Get Me On Live today, and I was just live a minute ago, but my live got banned for a whole year. So I'm going to appeal it to nine. Hopefully that goes through. But if not, I'll make a new live account. Okay, so I've already sort of started because obviously I was doing it live. I've done my hair on live, and all I've done is done my serum, and then I'm in the middle of doing my cream. Big thank you to everyone who gifted me on that live. Thank you so much, and I have tried my hardest to follow you all back. Lots of people have been asking about yesterday's ski trip and the vlog and everything. I was literally so tired after coming in last night. I took so many videos, yeah. The vlog isn't going to be, like, really good, by the way, because this is literally my first time ever doing YouTube, and I don't really know how it works. I tried my best to make sure all the clips are sideways, though, because I know YouTube's, like, sideways. But I literally got home, like, 20 to 9 or something, or, like, half past 8, something like that. But I got home, like, really late. And I'm really tired. Was really tired. I'm still tired. Yeah. But I haven't had time to edit it all, so maybe it'll be up tomorrow. It was literally so fun, though. I will put some of the videos on TikTok for you. I'll talk about it in a sec. I just want to quickly say something, because a lot of people always ask why I put sun cream on, because obviously it's not sunny. Uh, I just want to give you a cheeky little science lesson, even though I'm not even good at science myself. But basically, just because you cannot see the sun, the sun is always there, guys. Smart. Just because it doesn't feel warm does not mean the sun is not there. Therefore, the sun rays still come down on you. And you can get wrinkly and old when you're older, and I don't want to be wrinkly, so, you know. But yeah, as you know, I've got really, really uneven skin type, so I'm hoping it helps out with the pigmentation in my face, so yeah. I literally do this hairstyle every day. I'm literally running out of ideas here. But, um, what am I going to do now? Oh, I was supposed to tell you my ski story, but I'm just going to um, do my eyebrows. Okay, so I've stuck my eyebrows down, and I actually just found out I have a dentist appointment this morning. Cute. Anyways, oh, I can't remember what I was going to say now. Oh, yeah. I ordered some eyebrow gel today because this one just doesn't work. Look, look how good it looks now, but, like, two minutes later, it'll just unstick itself i don't know how but it just does um but i've ordered the pink honey tinted one i wish i didn't order the tinted one but i've ordered the tinted one now 
Okay, now I'm just going to do my concealer, number seven, of course. Though there is quite a few concealers I do want to buy and try out, you know. I don't know why I always do this to myself. I always buy more products that I don't really need, but it's fine. But I have been seeing so many Kylie Cosmetic concealer reviews at the minute. I want, I really want it. No comment. I've wanted the NARS concealer for the longest time. I will be getting the NARS one. But I've also, my favourite concealer ever was my Fit Me one. Literally such a bargain. It was £6. And do you know what? Genuinely, it was a bit better than this. Um, the only reason it's that I don't use it is because I lost it and I never found it. So I have a lot of love for this concealer. Do you know, I never used to use it under my eyes though. I used to just dab it all over my face. I literally, when I first started makeup, I never used to use concealer under your eyes. I used to always use it, like just all over my face or I just put it over spots. But I don't cover spots when I have them because I just think it looks worse. It never actually covers. When you try and cover a spot with concealer, it doesn't actually cover. So I just leave it or I put a star on it. I like to just put more concealer on top until I think it's enough. So I'm just doing a stroke there and a stroke there. And then I'm going to do my bronzer. The new bronzer I bought, honestly, best bronzer ever. So worth the money, mate. This bad boy. Unstoppable. Okay, now I'm just going to do my bronzer. So I just dab my brush in. It's really pigmented. So I put it on my hand and then I just blend it like this. And honestly, can you see all that colour? I dabbed it in like the tiniest bit and I also rubbed it on my hand. I've got a big fat spot there. I think you can see that as well. I don't really know what to do with that. I'm just going to dab bronzer onto it. No, but is it just me who thinks spots look worse when you put concealer over them? Like, when I have spots, I'd rather just put minimal makeup on. Because I'd rather you be able to see the spot than have a big cakey patch of concealer over it. Like, yeah. Like, my forehead is so bumpy and textured. With foundation on it, makes me feel depressed because you can just see all the little bumps and that. So I'd rather just leave it natural because it just makes me feel more happy. I literally love lashes at the minute. I'm, like, addicted to wearing them and I'm really scared for my natural ones because, obviously, as you know, I have really long natural ones. But I've been sticking on these ones with this really strong glue, so I'm pretty sure it's going to rip them all out and I'll literally cry my eyes out. Okay, now I'm going to do some highlight. I'm using my Gold Revolution one. Or should I use my MAC one? No, I'm going to use this one. So, literally, just going to get my finger on the nose. I don't really know how you put it on your cheek, but I'm just going to do that. Because I saw this girl on my For You page yesterday with gold highlighter, and it was so pretty on her. So I'm doing gold highlight today. Thanks to if you were the really pretty blonde girl on my For You page, you had gold highlighter on because it looked really good on you. I don't understand how you blend highlighter, though. Like, what am I even doing? Doesn't make sense. Okay, this is the makeup for today. It's very minimal, but it's fine. And last but not least, I'm doing a bit of Charlotte. Because I like it to give me a glow. Is it just me who's always so scared to, like, spray it because whatever just shoots out here? That's it today, guys. Hope you have a good day at school, if you're going to school. Or work, or college, or whatever you go to. But I hope you have a good day. Hey, guys. Getting ready with me, but with a little twist. Okay, so I never normally film get on ready of me's but i saw this whoa i saw this girl do this yeah and basically so she's called L lillian or L lillian i don't know how to pronounce her name but i'll tag her and basically so she put her skincare like in the order that she does it then she gets her alexa to like pick a random number out of how many like she does <laughs> i don't know if this is making sense um and then like say it picks number three then she'll use number three first i don't think this makes sense but like you'll find out whilst i start doing it also don't mind my hair because i had it in like a fi fishtail i think it's called um and instead of going curly it went frizzy also if you heard any background noise it was my brother anyways let's start and also i won't be able to ask my alexa because whenever i ask her questions like no whenever i ask her to pick a number she always says like really weird words like listen alexa pick a number one three seven seven Here's a number between one and seven. It's five. Oh, she actually picked it. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to use five. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm. That's a little bit strange. Serum first. Hmm. Mm. Okay, it doesn't even feel weird because I used to do, like, serum, like, by itself anyways. But it's going to feel weird putting, like, products on top of it. Mm. Alexa, pick a number one through six. Here's a number between one and six. It's five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Okay. 
moisturizer not too bad because i normally do my moisturizer like straight after that serum anyways so this isn't gonna feel weird but it's gonna feel weird when i get up to the other serums and like my toner also yeah today loads of people will call me orange but to be fair like i don't look orange at all like i'm not gonna lie this hand is a little bit dodgy but that's it i think my tan actually turned out quite nice quite nice it's just like a regular insult for me like people just kind of know me as orange like whenever i fake tan they're like hey you're orange but i'm actually not orange right anyways alexa pick a number between one and five Ale say that again. alexa pick a number one through five here's a number between one and five it's two Ooh, okay spray this isn't gonna feel weird either because you can basically do like a spray like what in like whatever order you want to be fair i don't know why it sprayed out like that that was a little bit weird right these ones are gonna feel weird because it's two serums a toner and a moisturizer right alexa pick a number one through four number between one and four it's three all right serum to be fair it's not even feeling like weird um yeah it's just it's just gonna be weird when i like do toner but you know it's fine but actually it is a bit weird because i'm putting serum on top of moisturizer mm. okay yeah oh <gasps> my crisps fell everywhere oh no anyways yeah that did feel a little bit odd right now alexa pick a number one three three number between one and three it's three okay moisturizer oh this is weird because i'm going moisturizer no i went what was it serum moisturizer serum moisturizer hmm that's a little bit odd i can hear a film in the in like the background like the beginning of a film and i don't know what my parents are watching but if it sounds interesting i'm gonna go downstairs i asked them what they're watching and they said a film and i said what film and they're not answering me hmm that's a little bit rude right alexa pick a number one through two this is gonna be really weird here's a number between one and two it's one Mm, right i don't like this i don't like, don't like this oh whoa oh <laughs> ew no that feels really weird that feels really odd this normally goes on like dry skin not dry skin but like my normal skin To be fair though, it actually feels like nicer with like skincare already on it, but it does feel odd and I'm not liking it. Okay, right, and then the last one is serum because obviously it's the only last one remaining. Um, this literally is so weird. And also, ignore the way that I squeeze it out, it's just like it doesn't come out very, very um, nicely, does it? But this was a little bit of an odd get on ready with me, not gonna lie um yeah also yeah the whole inside of this um like thingy jump jumper thing pajamas it's like orange because since i like fake tanned like in it this morning because no because i oh what am i on i fake tanned last night and washed it off this morning sorry my black washed it off this morning then put these straight back on so it's like since it was like wet and i had fake tan oh you can't even see it but it's just gone like really orange right anyways that was a little bit of a strange get i'm ready with me and also since i put loads of skincare on like my face is pale and then that's like all tanned anyways thanks for watching bye hey queens get ready me but i literally oh i literally need to leave like now i don't know why i keep doing this to myself i leave myself like no time to get ready and I don't even get up late or anything. Like, I don't get up at the crack of dawn. But I get up, like, quarter past seven. And it is eight to six right now. And I've just done finishing my hair and all of that jazz. But it's fine because the hair ate. I mean, I have literally used a whole tub of gel. And I feel like my arm's going to snap off. But it's all worth it. I've already pumped out my cream and the blue little hydra serum. But I'm not doing music either because I genuinely don't have enough time for all of that. And when I do music, then I get really distracted. Then I give you all like a concert and then I have to edit it all out because it makes my videos like 10 minutes long and don't really have time to give you a concert right now. But I'm literally so sick. I was in the middle of a science test yesterday and it's in like a silent room 
no it wasn't everyone was talking more or less silent then when it's silent i start choking and coughing and sniffling and sneezing it was so embarrassing i don't even have any confidence or anything because the other day i got hungry and this was before i was sick or anything and i love the taste of cough sweets especially the cherry flavored ones they are literally so good so what do i do I eat all my cough sweets. So now I have none and I'm sick and coffee and I feel like absolute garbage and I'm just not in the mood. I'm sniffly and I sound horry. I'm trying to blend out my say as best as I can because I don't want to look like an orange tangerine and I need to get into like the hairs and everything. I can't wait for this winter's love. I don't know why I'm talking about Love Island. I meant to talk about I'm a celebrity because I absolutely love I'm a celebrity and i can't wait for this year's run because i think it's gonna be really good but talking about love island i literally can't wait for that either i absolutely love love island i just love when there's drama on reality tv shows because i love everyone else's drama but mine and i just find it so entertaining i've just had to blow my nose and now my nose has gone all red and all my nose concealer has come off and i'm just not in the mood for this i'm late as is i don't need this stress and i'm not checking my timetable because it stresses me out even more I'm gonna check it the minute i get into school because there's nothing i can do about it then i can't wait to go to the lakeside wind wonderland though because it's finally reopened and i can't wait to go guys i might go soon to be honest because i was meant to go yesterday when it opened but didn't really have time for that okay now i'm gonna do my setting spray and i'm really hoping it doesn't rain today because it was literally pouring it down yesterday and i was not having none of that and it stayed inside all day but anyway queens i'm just gonna spray some of my sol de janeiro bye queens <laughs> of me so i've been sent these lashes i will definitely 100 percent put the link in the caption for you so you can get them easily because like you all shout at me when i don't do that and get angry so don't worry i will definitely remember to do it this time so i've been sent this kit by key U, and this is a lash brand they do lashes and i'm so excited so it comes with the bond and seal which most of them always come with this comes with a spoolie and i don't know what's on this end a brush how beautiful then obviously a pair of tweezers to put your lashes on with a pair of cluster lash remover which we all need okay we all need the remover mm -hmm. i'm having issues taking my lashes off and i have no lashes left <laughs> but it's okay and then of course the lash clusters oh and these little uh cotton pads I don't know what these are for, but quite handy. I'm just gonna go straight in. I'm gonna open this, see what they're looking like, decide what sizes I want to put on my eyelashes, and then kaboom, get me. I'm gonna clip my hair up for this because I'm not gonna have any lash glue getting my hair. So here's the bond. I'm gonna just apply the bond to my lashes nicely. I'm not gonna put too much on because like, I'm sick to death of having way too much on not being able to take it off. But then I'm gonna have a remover this time, so maybe I can take it off. Okay, I've just applied all the bond. I'm gonna get my tweezers and apply. I'm just gonna go with straight in and go with the longest ones, which is 16 millimeter cluster. Let me show you what it's looking like. Why am I struggling to pick it up? Okay, I've got the cluster. I'm just gonna lift my eye up and I'm gonna stick it on to where the bond is. Bam. Oh, gonna do the next one. Simple and easy. So I've just put three 16s on two 15s and I'm going to go in with the 14s. Okay, I've just finished the last. I finished off with a 12. I did 13, 14, 15, 16. So they look amazing. And I'm going to finish off with the seal, which is on the other side. Mm -hmm. The things that I love about the seal is, is because some of the lashes are still a bit sticky from the glue. Like it just stops that stickiness and makes your lashes last that extra week. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to do the other eye and I'll be back. And we're bam. Both lashes are done. They look amazing, beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's basically a new fresh set of eyelashes in less than 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. I would recommend getting this kit because 
I ain't seen no kits that come with the remover as well. And my eyelashes are nearly dying because no lash comes with a remover and I have nowhere to take them off. I don't rip my eyelashes out. So I suggest buying this because it has a remover. The bond is extra sticky. My eyelashes are going to stay on. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, links in. Um, Bye, guys.